just coming up on another lovely day. Probably went to bed about eight o'clock last night and was probably asleep within ten minutes. <laughs> Started watching a film and I was off. A little bit windy again last night, but not too bad. But the tent woke me up again. So that's what is it? it is seven o'clock and the sun's just rising. I think I'm gonna carry on and um, actually drive into Queensland today. It's about 300 kilometers. So if I leave in the morning, or this morning, should I say, it's roughly, because I, I, I do like 90 kilometers an hour on average because of the cruise control. Um, it's just over an hour per 100 kilometers, obviously. <laughs> So, yeah, it's not too bad. Three hours, three and a bit hours, be fine. I will gain another half an hour when I get to Queensland because of the time changes, time zones. I'm at Barclay uh, Roadhouse. I've heard that they might have showers. I haven't had one for over a week. No, oh, dirty bugger. There's loads and loads of road trains here. Just realised that I haven't had a cup of coffee this morning. It's not good enough. So we're having a cup of coffee in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Looks like I've made it to Queensland. I've got hardly any fuel left. But I've got two spare tanks, so I should be okay. And I've only got like about 10k to go to my uh, other camp. And then I think it's, oh, it's another 30k on top of that. To some fuel. So yeah, Queensland. Yeah. All right, found the billabong. It's a bit grubby. <laughs> Doesn't look that good. It's a bit dirty. There's pelicans in here, so there must be life in here. Set up, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee now and a sandwich and decide what I'm gonna do. Just spent two nights at Camel Wheel Billabong. Very nice, free, which is ace. Now it's time to go to uh, my Mount, Mount Isa. That's ISA, Mount Isa. Further on into Queensland. Um, definitely need fuel, definitely need a poo, and I need some food. Wonderful. at the lake I might stay here a little while actually got loads of food now um, a reasonable amount of water and yeah need to slow down doing too much driving and I'm spending too much on petrol spending is yeah I need to talk about that <laughs> right I got the fishing rod out I'm gonna try for some barra oh no i won't catch anything but you gotta try and yeah it's the law so yeah it is lovely here um mozzies do come out at night although they're only little little baby ones and uh, yeah they bite you but it's not 
not a big deal. Um, you don't come up in big bloody whelps or anything. Yeah, it's lovely. We like it here. Oh, and I've just moved as well. I was over there, now I'm here. <laughs> it's actually closer to the lake. You'll see. two great days um, camped by the lake. I actually uh, all packed up, usual thing. Whenever I want to go anywhere, I have to pack everything up. Pain in the ass. Um, I'm gonna go further north up the lake, and also I need to do things, like get water and things like that. So yeah, and I'll probably come back here, to be honest it's so so nice place. there is a rodeo 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 um, on in the town this weekend the only thing is the tickets are a bit pricey it's like $40 a day um, camping is all booked and shut and it would have been cheaper to actually camp there than to buy a day ticket but we shall see there's cowboys everywhere <laughs> Yeah, found a shower, free. Bloody awesome. It's in the canoe club. Um, I'm still at, lake, at the lake, but I'm up the north end of it now. It's bloody lovely here. Hey, water's a bit cold. Somebody just been in for a swim, and he said it's freezing. So we won't be doing that. I've been fishing for the last two days where I've been camping. Nothing. Um, I'm obviously doing something wrong, I'm trying all sorts of lures. Um, there's plenty of fish in there, but I might have to find a, a tackle shop or something and go and ask them, get some advice. Uh, I'm looking like bloody Grizzly Adams. Had quite a productive afternoon actually. Got some more food, got some water, um, and I've been to the library. <laughs> um, Went in there to use their internet or their Wi Fi. Um, did a speed test, and the download speed was like one meg. And I'm thinking, oh no, it's going to be awful. When it did the upload speed, it was five meg, which is weird. So I uploaded four vlogs. Ace, pleased with that. Um, the town is getting really, really geared up. The town being Mount Isa, or should I say city. Um, for the uh, Rodeo. It's, uh, it's obviously a big thing here. Um, I didn't realise and I've just come here just at the right time. <sighs> I'm going to go down and see but uh, whether I'll actually go in or not and pay the $40, I don't know. But you've got to go and see him, yeah. I've never been to a Rodeo, so Rodeo, Rodeo got to go and have a look. I've been past it, bloody horses everywhere and bulls and goodness knows what. And lots of cowboys. On the way back to my lovely camp at the lake now. Um, it's uh, half past five so I'll get there before dark and get set up. And yes and have another wonderful evening. Just watching the sun go down again. I don't think, since I've been traveling, I don't think I've ever seen so many sunsets and sunrises come to that. Um, when you're outside, 
obviously you see them more <laughs> rather than being cooped up in a bloody house or office or factory or whatever um, so I do count my blessings um, I'm very lucky to uh, see this it's awesome all set up don't know what we're going to have for tea we'll see but just look at this sunset it's just awesome Telling ghost stories. <laughs> Don't know any though, that's the only thing. It's good here, isn't it? Hey? Sun's gone down. Fire's on the go. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's brilliant. I like it.